consciousness. For example, a movie like I Am Legend is set in 2012 and has to do with the same destruction of the known universe. Another movie literally called 2012 is set the same way. It's again all about destruction of the world. Just supposed and to unite. when we're looking, and in this case, once again, we've got alien invasions, things disastrously going wrong in the, in the late 1980s when a person called Jose Aguias actually set up the harmonic convergence. And what he was planning on doing on the 11th of August With in the 2012 phenomena, he what? saw 1987 as the final chance, so to speak, to awaken the Earth before 2012. It was the awakening. Now, very little happened in 1987, and the world has pretty much gone on as before. We have seen world wars, we've seen Iraq, we've seen Afghanistan, and very few positive things have happened, though certain other things like the, the fall of the Iron Curtain definitely have stopped some of the put. which has been going on in this world but it's definitely not the case that now a few years from 2012 the world is going to be as rosy colored as as ideas has said it has so even though these timelines have been working for not just decades but for centuries because actually what Argeas is saying is that some of these clocks have been ticking since 1519 AD some of these things have been happening, there has been change in the world, but there has always been change in the world, and whether we should attribute some of the changes which are happening now to the 2012 phenomena is a possibility. Oh, I heard about um, the journey of Terence McKenna and his brother Dennis down into the uh, Amazon rainforest. Uh, to, they were principally going to, to look for uh, a hallucinogen that they'd heard about, but the resulting experience that they had ended up with um, Terence in particular getting interested in the ancient Chinese oracle, the I Ching, or King the I Ching. Wayne sequence the is an changes. early arrangement of the 64 hexagrams that comprise the I Ching. The hexagrams are six-line structures that combine yin, represented by broken lines, and yang, represented by the solid lines. There are six times 64 lines in the whole sequence, which may have once been used as an early lunar calendar since there are 384 days in 13 lunar months. The graph that the graph, the ebb and flow of novelty in the universe, new things um, that haven't happened before, and the graph goes up towards habit and down towards novelty. Uh, and it all reaches a huge crescendo around the year 2012, which he called the eschaton, the end of time. It's computers available. And... Um, he got some mathematicians to help him uh, generate a number set from the I Ching showing all the changes inherent in the whole sequence. Uh, and then from that number set he produced uh, and then he a graph. That there are 384 days in 13 lunar months, so the whole thing could have originally been an early lunar calendar. Then he saw that if you multiply those um, 384 days times 64, you end up with six minor sunspot cycles. And if you again multiply that by 64, you end up with two zodiacal ages. And then multiplying that by six, you get one precession of the equinoxes. Time wasn't as linear or as simple or as easy as we all thought.